Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. Where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I wish you them. And today we got a great show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out the Dreamers Pro podcast that we have pinned in the comments uh, below. Let me get into this uh, topic uh, here. I'm going to roast Skip Bayless. I'm going to roast Skip Bayless. Here's why. I think Skip Bayless has been trolling the vast majority of Laker fans and LeBron fans for quite some time now, or at least as it pertains to this first round matchup between themselves and the Denver Nuggets. Skip Bayless took it upon himself to take the position of he thinks the Lakers are going to win this series in six games. Well, they've lost one. So essentially what you're saying now needs to happen is the Lakers either need to win game two or they need to win at least the next three games. Or if they lose game two, you're telling me that the Lakers are going to beat the Denver Nuggets four games in a row, meaning winning game three, game four, and then winning game five and game six. How are they going to do that to a team that they've lost nine games in a row to? But nevertheless, this, this is what Skip Bayless said. We shall see. I could be wrong. I think I think it's not going to happen. Uh, so what happened yesterday going into the series on Undisputed, Skip Bayless was talking about he believes that the X factor, get this, he believes the X factor in this series is going to be Gabe Vincent. He expects Gabe Vincent to play big minutes in the game. You know how many minutes Gabe Vincent played yesterday? Seven minutes and 42 seconds to score zero points. That's the big X factor that Skip Bayless thought was going to slow down Jamal Murray. And Jamal Murray didn't play well, but he was very, very aggressive anyway and, help his team, and helped his team uh, bring, on, uh, bring home the victory. So what happened? I opened up my social media this morning just to see Skip Bayless has published a video on the Undisputed channel on YouTube where he's essentially trashing LeBron James for disappearing and not playing well in the fourth quarter. But before we even get into Skip Bayless's comments, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Prize Picks, which is the largest DLC fantasy sports platform in North America. Prize Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to quickly play what Skip Bayless had to say. It's only about 57 seconds or so. I want to quickly play what he had to say. I'm going to come back and give you guys our thoughts. Take a, take a listen to Skip Bayless here. LeBron James can be such a diva. I just watched him play the last nine minutes at Denver and take two shots once the game was completely over because he wanted to make a point. He pouted those last nine minutes because he was so stung by the criticism, all of it justified for his fourth quarter flame outs last year in the conference finals against Denver. So he just stood around on offense watching and kicking the ball to the coldest hand on the floor, D'Angelo Russell, who wound up going one of nine from three, one of three from three in the fourth quarter. And LeBron missed a little put back at the end of the game and then with 35 seconds left he made an uncontested layup that was the only shot he made the whole fourth quarter so you heard what skip bayless had to say now he's talking about oh lebron james didn't show up and da, da, da. here's my thing if you felt like this was going to be a possibility like lebron possibly couldn't show up and blah 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 blah, blah why did you pick the lakers to win in the first place skip bayless is trolling you people Skip Bayless is setting up LeBron and the Lakers for failure. Here's what I mean. He managed to take the, the, the excuse of fatigue off the table this week 
with Keyshawn Johnson. Why? Because they were arguing about the time the Lakers played the Never Nuggets last year in the Western Conference Finals. And some people were saying that LeBron was burnt out in the fourth quarter, in those fourth quarters. It was late in the, in the calendar year. He was burnt out. He was burnt out in terms of the NBA season. He was burnt out. So Skip Bayless said, well, now they're going to be playing them in the first quarter, in the, in the, in the, in the first round, right? So excuses. I remember him saying that the excuse of fatigue cannot be a factor because you're playing them fresh. And the Lakers, everybody's saying he's going to get them when the Lakers are fully rested. So the excuse of, oh, he fatigued and all of this stuff doesn't really work because that's what Keyshawn was saying. So he was saying that Keyshawn kept on saying, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Well, you can't say we'll see in the first game of the series and be like, he got fatigued when that's what you use in the in the Western Conference Finals last year, well, he'd been playing so many games, he had played two series and he got fatigued. You can't use that. So Skip successfully, in a very cunning way, removed that excuse off the table. Then he decided to pick the Lakers in six games. He decided to pick the Lakers. You heard Paul Pierce laughing him off the 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 the, 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 the desk yesterday when they when they said the Lakers are seven point under seven and a half point underdogs. And Paul Pierce was like, he's surprised it's not even 15 or 20 points. And Skip Bayless was like, no, I believe. He doesn't believe it. What he's trying to do is say that the Lakers are a very, very good team. They are a good team. They should be able to compete. And he went as far as saying they can even beat the, 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 the Nuggets. Then when they don't, he then gets to turn around and say, LeBron James is the reason they lost. LeBron was rested. LeBron had enough help. So there's no excuse. That's essential. And there were some people actually going along and believe the reason Keyshawn Johnson was picking the Lakers is because he's a homer. He, that's his team. So I can understand that. Some can even call it blind faith. Hell, we all probably have blind faith. I'm picking the Clippers to beat the Mavs. I don't know if Kawhi Leonard is going to play. Some people can call that blind faith. But we can understand Keyshawn Johnson because he's a Laker fan. In the case of Skip Bayless, he is not a Laker fan. He is not a LeBron James supporter. I think he's setting these guys up to fail, and I think some of you guys are falling into it. For him to now turn around and talk about LeBron disappeared, and that he's going to be the same one that was talking about LeBron has been playing sensational. He's been shooting the three. He's been playing spectacularly. He look what I think what he can do. He's going to be the same one on Monday to roll around talking about man, what a disappointment. LeBron James really choked that game away, and da 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 da. And some of y'all going to be like, he hate. He always been hate. He was never, ever supporting LeBron to begin with. This is just my personal view. This is how I am. I could never. How can you take him? This is how they going to beat the Lakers, beat the Nuggets in six games. How? Now you're saying that they definitely have to beat them four out of the next six. How is that going to happen when the Lakers have lost nine straight games to this team? Five in the playoffs, four in the regular season. You make it make sense. So you're not telling me that the Lakers are going to beat the Nuggets four of the next six games. I don't believe that's going to happen. And if they lose game two. You're going to tell me they're going to be beating them four out of the next five? Really? That's what's going to happen? I don't believe it. So I just have to call that out because I think Skip is playing a game and he's leading you a lot of you guys, uh, uh, taking a lot of you guys for Booboo the Fool. These are my thoughts, whatever you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.